This demo will showcase use of the Pulustro software to perform a simple DCAM assessment, capturing scores and analyzing results. DCAM is a model that was developed by the EDM Council to capture best industry practices in data management and to provide a model to assess the state of data management capabilities. Results of the DCAM assessment are used to develop data management capabilities improvement plan and to monitor progress with subsequent assessments. DCAM has eight components, from data management strategy to analytics management, to provide a holistic view of the state of data management within a given firm. Each component consists of capabilities. In the case of data management strategy, there are three capabilities. Strategy is specified and shared, business case is defined, and overall vision for data management is defined. Then each of those capabilities is in turn divided into sub-capabilities, which is the level at which the scoring is done. The scoring can be done on six levels. The first one is not initiated, and it means that the specific capability does not exist and there is no plan to develop it. With level 2, the sub-capability is still non-existent. However, there is a plan in place and a discussion in process on how to define and develop it. Level 3 is the beginning of the development and defining process. It means that you are in the process of defining and developing that sub-capability. Level 4 means that the sub-capability has been both developed and defined, but it has not been operationalized or implemented, in some cases not approved. Level 5 is the aspirational level, you have developed and defined the sub-capability, while being both implemented and operational and are receiving the benefits. Lastly, Level 6 is continual improvement based on the measurement of the sub-capability or the use of it. Those are the six levels of scoring. However, within each subcapability where the scoring is done, there is text explaining what each of the scoring levels means in terms of the subcapability. For instance, in the data management strategy is developed, documented, and consolidated. Level 1 states no formal data management strategy exists. Level 2 is no formal data management strategy exists, but the need is recognized and a development is being discussed. The third level is the formal data management strategy is being developed which means that the data management strategy is in the process of development or there is already a part that has been developed and so on. To view additional information about the various levels and aspects of the DCAM assessment, the participant can press the I buttons located next to the different component levels and score levels. In this case, pressing the I next to data management strategy and business case displays an in-depth description of the component, including a broad overview, a clear definition and its overall scope. For capabilities and subcapabilities, the info button provides a concise description with the essential information. So, as I progress through the assessment, my scoring would be based on my view of the level of maturity of my organization for that particular subcapability. Simply clicking on the cell that I feel most accurately represents the state of that subcapability for my organization. The score cell of your selected input then turns to green, in addition to a checkmark appearing in the small circle in the lower right-hand corner, making it easy to tell which questions haven't yet been answered. You can see your completion status by capability at the top right, indicating how many of the corresponding sub-capabilities you've already scored. The blue bar above the table at the top of the screen is a progress bar that will show you how far along into the assessment you are and how many questions there are left to answer. If you have not completed all of the questions and would like to save your work and continue at a later time, you can press the Save and Continue button located on the top right. Once all of the questions have been fully completed, you can hover over the three dots and click the Submit button to submit your answers, which will indicate to the manager of the assessment that you have finalized your responses. Once submitted, you will be redirected to your dashboard. To log out, hover over your name on the top right and click Log Out. This is all that is needed from the participant in the DCAM assessment. Pulustro was designed with the objective to provide a simple and intuitive interface for DCAM participants. Let's see how a DCAM assessment is created. To do that, we need to switch our role to manager. Now we can create a DCAM assessment. Let's call this assessment test DCAM for the 2023 period. Assessments are usually performed on an annual basis, but can be done either in shorter intervals every six months or even three months and some perform assessments every two years. The description should provide the reasoning and the objectives for why the assessment is being performed. 
It should also describe the time frame within which the assessment should be done along with any important contacts for any questions. All of the text in the description will be incorporated in the email that is sent out to the selected participants when the assessment is launched. Under the Assignments tab on the top of the screen, you can assign participants to a specific assessment. For example, you have the option to select all by clicking the box at the top left of the screen, which will assign all of the individuals within the organization. You can deselect specific users by clicking on the boxes to the left of their name. Some users will belong to specific classifications, which are fully customizable as they differ from one firm to another. The most commonly used classification is organizational taxonomy, which specifies the part of the firm participants belong to, since they will be representing the organizational unit within that assessment and the scores related to it. You will be able to view the level of the data management capabilities within each of the organization units, as well as the average of the overall firm. There could be different types of classifications in addition to organizational taxonomy. For example, regions, roles in data management, and initiatives. You should add only classifications that you would like to use in the analysis of the results. Adding data management roles will give you information on the level of confidence in the scores. Since the participants belong to the data management organization and can have specific roles like Data stewards, data owners, custodians, you can expect to receive better insight with more accurate scoring on the levels of data management capabilities. All of these features can also be done through a template in an offline setting by exporting the assignments into a spreadsheet. In the downloaded template, participants can be added and assigned, and the file can be imported back into Pulustro instead of editing assignments online. By default, all questions are assigned to the participants, but can be edited based on the expertise and knowledge of each user. For instance, if Prekdrag is not aware of the details related to technology, this section can be excluded from his assessment. Another user like Julian does not have experience with these components, so we will exclude data quality and data governance from Julian's assessment. This is currently being performed on a component level, but can be done on the level of capability or subcapability. Similarly to assigning users to assessments, this portion can also be downloaded as a template and does not have to be done online. In the Coordinators tab, there is the option to add additional coordinators like managers and analysts. In the Schedule tab, we need to select the period in which the assessment will be done. For example, we can start today and then go until the end of July. Once you are ready, you can click Publish and launch the assessment, in which all of the participants will receive an email that includes text from the assessment description. We can preview the email by clicking on Preview. Overall, this is the process of launching the assessment and how the allocation of participants and questions was made. As you saw, not all participants will have to answer every question, so the proper allocation can be selected based on the expected user's level of knowledge. Let's see how a DCAM assessment is managed after it has been launched, as well as the options the tool provides for analysis of the results. The assessment manager can use the Assignments tab to check the status of each participant and see whether the assessment has been completed, is in progress, or hasn't yet been started. As manager, via the Action column at the very right, I have various options to keep track of and coordinate participants while the assessment is still in progress. In case someone leaves the organization or transfers to another division, I can delete their assignment at any time via the three dots at the very left. It's always possible to add participants in the exact same way as when originally setting up the assessment using the button at the top left. I also can view the details of each individual's scoring at any point in the process by pressing the eyeball icon. Depending on the participant's completion status, not started, in progress, or completed, different actions are available to the manager. In the case that they've not started, let's say because this person is using Excel to fill the assessment out, the import feature here would let me upload a template with their answered scores. However, if their status is in progress, I have the option to ping the user with this bell in case they're lagging behind or just forgot to hit submit. Pulustro then emails them a gentle automated reminder. Otherwise, to manually turn in their progress, I can press this Submit button right here. Finally, if the participant has completed and locked in their answers, the Reopen Assignment button allows me to unlock the assessment in case they want to change something for any reason and the Export Responses feature would download their response as an Excel spreadsheet. Either while the assessment is in progress or after it has been completed, 
the manager can view a variety of charts that visually represent the results. In terms of graphic visualizations, Palestro generates a radar chart, column graph, and box plot. The radar chart is divided by color into the eight different DCAM components and their overall score, and then subdivided to show the average scoring of each capability in discreetly plotted points. The column graph displays a general view of the eight component averages, each of which you can click to navigate to the further details of the constituent capabilities and subcapabilities. The box plot feature provides insight into the statistical distribution of the scoring on the level of components and capabilities. The Participant Summary tab allows the manager to easily see the current completion status of the assessment participants overall and by classifications. One particularly useful way of viewing the assessment data is in the pivot table, which can be used to customize the breakdown of the scores in whatever configuration is most convenient for analysis. You can select Table Heat Map from this display drop-down menu to more easily spot trends and outliers. For example, if you were interested in just getting a general sense of how the main divisions of the organization were doing with respect to each subcapability, you would keep only the highest level of the organizational taxonomy, function breakup one, at the top here. For a true bird's eye view, you could even take out the lower levels of the DCAM model until only the eight components were left. However, let's say you were looking for a thorough picture of where exactly the organization's strengths and weaknesses lie. In that case, you could bring in the lower levels of the function hierarchy, and, if you really wanted to get to the bottom of things, even have the scoring broken down by participants. Here, the heat map color coding would be particularly helpful. In addition to representing the data, the other powerful analytical capability Pulvestro offers is the ability to filter and aggregate the displayed results in order to make more meaningful comparisons and analyses. From the options menu at the right, you can apply selective filters to include only certain results. You could specify response status here, if for example, you didn't want your analysis to take into account any scores that had not yet been officially submitted. The option to filter by classification allows the manager to view any cross-section of the given responses to the DCAM assessment, and therefore their relative contribution to the overall scoring. I could choose to only consider responses from certain parts of the organization, or participants with assigned roles in data management. Additionally, when any classification filter is enabled, the completion status as well as overall assessment score of the corresponding participants is displayed under the graphs. Another option that Pooldustro offers is the side-by-side -side comparison feature. This allows the manager to compare the scoring from different parts of the organization. Like in this case, the difference between global businesses and global functions. The feature can also compare the results based on different classifications. For example, contrasting the overall score of certain divisions to the more informed score by the data management roles, such as data stewards. Through the Options tab, it is possible to create your own weighting model, which calibrates the significance of specific sub-capabilities or capabilities to adjust their contribution to the average score. Pulustro also saves any added models so that they can be reused in later assessments. The benchmark feature compares the scoring relative to other assessments from the past, giving you a way to track progress in developing capabilities compared to previous years. It can also measure your organization's results against the official EDM Council industry benchmark, or against peers selected by industry, type of firm, size and region. If you need any more information, please do not hesitate to contact us at our website pulustro.com to either check out more information about Pulustro or provide any inquiries in which you would be interested.